Though it doesn't look like I can look at anything in the bay window. Or the hungry hungry hippos. Oh, we've got a... an old gaming system. She totally does. Okay, fun facts. A prodigious collection of titles for your console's hungry cartridge-shaped mouth. All the best ones are here. Well, all the ones you happen to own are here. You could spend all day listing them. There's Bubsy, there's... Mentioning Bubsy made you feel a little queasy, so you think you'll stop there. You might go lie down for a bit, actually. Interesting. Tap it. And send him Clatron? No way! Does this do it? I don't think Markdown actually works in Twitch chat. You are limited to only the images you can portray with your beautiful language and emotes. Okay, let's turn on the TV. Oh boy. Oh, that's more than enough of that! I assume that's just, yeah, that seems to be the same bit. Photos! Good stuff! Oh, and a diary. Photos first. Since she's been gone, you've seen less and less of Pa over the years. Guess he had greener pastures to move on to. Or bluer beauties. Okay, so... Jade's grandpa. I guess. That little girl there? She's destined for big things. Big hopes, big fears, big worries, big lonelinesses. Now hold on. Pull yourself together. What would your mum say if she knew you were thinking like that? You really wish she knew. Aww, honey. Okay, first off, gonna use tap shoes on the pictures. Your mum was a great dancer. Tap, swing, ballroom, bolero, even wild experimental stuff like contact improvisation. Ballet was her passion though, and she was transcendent. Tap dancing actually freaks your dog out pretty badly. You suppose it's the ribald, firework-like percussion of your toes and heels clacking against the hardwood floor that does it. In fact, you don't even really have to suppose. You're pretty much certain. Okay, before we use the key on the diary, I'm going to use the shoes on the diary. This seems important. You couldn't tap dance your diary open, although if you wanted, you might be able to tap dance it off the desk. If you wanted. Did you normal click the mum and daughter picture yet, or did I miss that? Ah, uh, you missed that. First thing I did. You don't want to, though. You're going to go ahead and head that line of reasoning off at the pass. That's not the way to open your diary. It was just an idle thought. You need your diary key to open your diary, period. Okay, what happens if I normal click it without key? I can look at it. You usually don't have much to record in here on account of the humdrum life you lead, but you thinks today will be a different story. Video keeps stuttering weirdly, so sometimes I miss things. No drop frames on my end, so that must be a Twitch thing. Maybe you should take a moment to record a note now, just in case this is your last chance to set down your final words before your tragic demise at the hands of a horrible snaky thing. Which still exists. Okay, let's try green key on it first. Doesn't fit. It was worth a shot, you guess. Well, not really. Okay, let's do it. You unlock and open your diary. Nice. Juicy secrets. Here you come. Except... They're just your boring secrets, so you don't care. Oh my gosh, it's so artistic. He, okay, it just gives me the same old information for look. Let's see if- okay. You're going to observe me turning my head weirdly for a bit because I'm trying to read the writing. Okay, so we've got... What's this a picture of? Oh, it's that dog. Okay. Is there the weird S thing in here? There's not a weird S thing in here, and I'm disappointed by the Hive Swap development team. Dear Diary, October, October 25th. So, about two weeks ago from the present day. The audio will suddenly jump back a few seconds or ahead a few seconds. 
That is super strange. It's probably an issue with their video player if I had to guess. I'm not sure the weird S thing had been invented yet in 1994. I think it was. Um, like I definitely would have learned about it in 98. Um, and I'm pretty sure I've seen examples of it dated back to not the 80s, but definitely like the extremely early 90s. Anyway, dear diary, I can't believe I haven't recorded any entry the beginning of last summer to say I've been back to school. Now, next summer can't come soon enough. Continued. I came home to a drunk babysitter again today. Oh, Roxy, come on. Sure is some um, quality adult supervision we youngsters are getting around here. Drawing of Roxy. She means well enough, though. Ice cream stickers. I assume that's Jude. Haven't heard from Pa in weeks. Last we saw of him, he popped in the house to drop off more stupid mummies and globes or whatever, then skipped off to go on more adventures. What a bozo. Okay, so yeah. Definitely Jade's grandpa. Also, how lame is it that he made us call him Pa instead of Dad while we were growing up? I miss Mum, Joey. Okay, let's write something then. Maybe something from your past will shed some light on today's terror mysteries. Some little detail, mentioned offhand and forgotten, the key kicking off a causal cascade of connections that terminates in a catastrophe of snake monsters. People report seeing the S thing as early as the 60s? I thought so! April 13th, 1994. Well. Dear Diary, ho-hum, nothing much happened. Who actually says ho-hum in writing or verbally? Nobody. That is who. Nothing much happened today. I tried to make some new friends at school to maybe expand our social circle beyond just me and Jude's friends all the time. Wait, is it weird to call my brother's friends my social circle? Oh, well, you know what I mean, Diary. I don't have any friends I can really call mine, so I'm trying to branch out. I guess it's better than calling them my web ring. The kids at school are jerks, though, and they called me a poser when I tried to talk to them about games I like and stuff. And between you and me, I think a bunch of the kids at school might be... evil? Jeez, now I'm sounding all paranoid like my brother. They're just up to no good, I can feel it. Joey. June 12th, 1994, Dear Diary, Phew, first day of summer vacation. I can't wait to get a break from all these clowns at school. Sometimes I think what I really need is a vacation from humanity. Joey. October 25th. Okay, so this is the one that I just craned my head to read. I'll skip through it. I don't think that there's anything. Okay, there are two sad faces that are not uh, showing up there. So, sad face, sad face, Joey. If this is going to be the last entry in your diary, then by gum, you're going to scare the bejesus out of whoever finds it once you're snake chow. November 11th, 1994. Dear Diary, forgive my hasty and nervous scribbling. I'm kind of scared, but maybe also a bit excited? Anyway, can't talk much now. There's a sly and cunning monster on the prowl. Possibly hungry for kid meat too, so I've got to... Okay, I don't have a darn clue what I have to do, but I'll fill you in later once I do it. Joey. Satisfied you've done your duty vis-a-vis... I've never actually said that out loud. I'm pretty sure it's vis-a-vis. -vis. I've heard other people say that, so I'm going with it. Posterity, in case the worst should happen, you relock your diary and hide the key again. Safe and sound. Why does she talk like this? Let Joey high swap curse. Can we, like, take this with us? That seems like a good idea. No? Okay. You've already done your duty to history by recording your potential last words. Time to shake a leg. Okay, we get it. It's the 90s. And I've already shaken my leg at the diary. Right now, I'm going to save. I remembered. 
I remember! Okay, can we get into the drawers? No, I think that just looks at everything again. Let's play some Connect Four. The goal of this game is to get four of your colored circles in a row before your opponent, who's trying to do the same. You can also theoretically connect five if you're kind of a showy jerk. But you haven't used the magic key on anything? I tried it on the diary. I guess I should actually look at her mom's picture with the key since it was her mom's thing. Your precious treasured heirloom belonged to your mom originally. You got it from her jewelry box, the one in the hallway. This house is not okay. She wasn't around to give it to you in person, so you just, you know, you took it. But that's what she would have wanted, of course. You're very, very sure of it. Okay. Let's get out of here. What is this door? Okay, we have a games cupboard. Oh my gosh. This is too much of my childhood. I can't cope with this. Oh, not Simon Says. You really get a charge out of this game. It's kind of bossy though. Okay, it's sparkling. That means I have to challenge it. Well, sure, why not? After this though, you should really go get the walkie-talkie, since you just remembered you cannibalized the batteries from the walkie to power this game. Okay, that's enough yelling. Okay, I accidentally found a plot relevant thing. Yellow, okay. Yellow, red. I don't know if the colors are like relevant to anything. Yellow, red, red, green. Oh, okay, I didn't have to win and I feel very good about that. Oh, looks like the green button isn't working. Well, nostalgia satisfied, might as well scavenge the batteries. Nailed it. Can I use the key on Simon Says though? No. I ruined it. I should have done it before. Ah! Ah! Put down the key! Okay, there we go. Your mum, would she be okay with this poster being up in your room? Mm, why not? She danced with lots of ladies. I don't think I've looked at them on their own. Hot Steppen. You don't really perform the styles of dance that make this movie such a pulse pounding barn burner of a smash hit. Excuse me, a what? But you'd certainly like to someday. The story keeps happening. Oh my fuck. The story keeps happening. Just look at that childlike empress. She sure looks pretty pleased with herself as someone who's only in the movie for about five minutes. Okay. Homestuck itself, the cultural references embedded in it were just a bit beyond my time. I missed out on a lot of stuff and a lot of stuff flew over my head while I was um, reading it. This though, this has found my childhood and is jumping on it. Canadian Campfire Spookums is the best. It's about these kids who get together in the woods every week and one of them throws some dust in a fire and then they tell a scary story and that scary story is the episode. Hot damn. You guess you kind of focus more on the framing narrative than you did on the stories, but whatever. It's the best. Just like you said. Interesting. Oh, requisite. Uh, this has got to be like a My Little Pony reference in particular, but also horse reference. Acorn's shadow is surprisingly dark for a show about a group of horse friends. It canters down some troubling psychological roads. Magical Animal Companion Heal Rescue is your favorite Japanimation. Oh my f- <laughs> I can't cope with this. It's about this girl, Shika, who goes to school sometimes and has a regular life, boring, yeah, but whenever a magical animal has been hurt, Shika becomes Princess Shika and rides her dear companion to go heal them. And Dirk rewrote Saddle Club, don't forget- Oh, of course. Anyway. Can I look at the Rubik's Cubes? No. Can I look at the puzzles? No. Oh, I'm still in text. That's the whole thing. It's great. No fighting, just healing. You love it. Joey, get, get out of the way of the cupboard, Joey. I need to- I can't look at block. I want to look at block. We've got a 
ballerina painting by... Is it Degas or Degas? You really like this poster, but can't really say why. It's pretty, and you like the expression on the ballerina's face. You wonder if this is what it's like when adults go to museums to look at actual art. You hope so. Is that... can I look at any of these interestingly 90s stickers? I cannot. But I can appreciate the poster as well. You give it a good hard stare. Yeah. You're appreciating the heck out of this art. It would be difficult, if not impossible, for anyone to appreciate it more. Okay, I guess I should find the walkie-talkie that was mentioned. Come on. I think it was over this way. I remember seeing something on a floor. There it is. Your walkie-talkie. Half of a set. Your brother has the other one. Could come in handy. Okay, we'll get the walkie-talkie, and we already have batteries. One walkie-talkie, batteries missing as you expected. Combine! I should have tried to combine it with other things first. I am a fool! Success! The walkie-talkie works like a charm now. A charm with battery power. You feel pretty pleased with yourself. It would seem you just solved your first puzzle of many, on what is sure to be a sweeping adventure full of mysterious brain busters. I'm gonna try and put shoes on the thing now. Oh, I have to read the rest of the text first, I guess. Then again, putting batteries in a thing isn't technically solving a puzzle, you suppose. It is just overcoming a minor inconvenience that you created yourself, using mundane, widely available modern technology. You don't care, though. You're counting it! Joey, you are a protagonist after my own heart. Okay, shoes, walkie-talkie. I can't do it! I'm so disappointed in myself. Okay, first I will go and look at the glint in the window. Whoa! Okay, we've got like, the bat things now. Let's look at the view. Oh, we actually get to look at the yard, huh? Yikes, more of them? Gentrification is a real monster. I don't know if gentrification is... really relevant in this situation, Joey, but sure. Blistering social commentary aside, you sincerely hope you and your brother aren't killed and eaten by these eyeless horrors? Okay, same dialogue. Oh, dog! Dog! Poor puppy. If that icky sneaky thing hurt her, well, you'd use your budding veterinary skills to patch her up and make it all better, but you'd also be very angry. The fucking skull found in Jake installed in his yard, why is he like this? He doesn't know how to not be. It is a lifelong pursuit of his. Right now, she doesn't seem to want to come out of her doghouse. You don't blame her. That's very understandable. You stay safe, Pop. Skull fountain. It'd be nice if these monsters were as weirded out by that weird skull fountain as you are. Unfortunately, that thing is probably monster chic. Can't look at the dinosaur hedge, sadly. I have a lot of questions about the dinosaur hedge. Oh, uh, just totally ignoring my brother. Can I- Aha! Uh, I almost- Oh, I can look at the moon. The sun has just set, making for a glorious autumn eve. As such, autumnal evening glory radiates from the heavens, kissing the clouds on its way down to Earth. Stupid clouds, all untouchable and ephemeral and stuff. Jake's entire personality. It's up there with the look puppies. Okay, I guess I can't... I'm, I'm waiting for these bats to come by. No, I can't click the bats. I really tried, though. I think I want to go lay down now as hard as it is to tear myself away from this riveting narrative. Enjoy your lie down, Em. Hopefully you stop being so tired. You briefly muse on the metaphorical significance of the flashing light. What could it represent? The past? The future? America? It's your stupid brother. You need to get in touch with him. Okay, so I'm guessing that's it then. Yeah, Just wanted to see if there were any options hiding in there. 
first. I'm going to click hint. Still unavailable. Thought maybe we might have triggered something that made hints available again. Jude, you there? Are you alright? I like this interface. <laughs> oh my gosh! I, I missed type quirks. And I just realized how interesting an experience this is going to be attempting to read them. Yes! Been covertly signaling status and requesting yours, over. You mean the lantern? I don't know Morse code. Would never use such easily decipherable code, over. Enemy agents everywhere, over. Wait, on over. Still unconfirmed vis-a-vis -vis your condition following enemy serpent encounter, over. Please report bite status. How many and how gross, over. I'm fine or not great. He's our brother. And we should mess with him. I'm not great. A giant snake monster chased me right to my door and I barely escaped. Aww. But our bite status. You have to respond to the question, Joey. Your safety important, over. Was worried, over. That reminds me, after I shut the door on it, I think it, I heard it clomping off back down the stairs. I don't think you should leave your treehouse anytime soon. It might be headed back your way. It was a lantern, curiosity abated. Homestuck? Giving us answers? Truly, this is a new world. No plans of leaving current location yard crawling with cryptid vanguard, over. Wait it out there, or cryptid vanguard. Uh, let's confirm our plans. Your mic isn't working so well when you're loud. Okay, let me turn up the compression. Maybe that'll do something. Okay. Loud. Okay, that seems to have helped it out a bit, I think. I'm not sure what the technical term is, but it gets all crackly. Oh, uh, yeah. I mean, that's a technical enough description, uh, but I'm blowing it out, basically. Which I have a compressor on for to try to fix, but... Actually... Okay, I'm going to turn a software compressor on. Uh, maybe I'm not. Uh. Okay, I've put a software compressor on. Let me know if I currently sound like I'm talking through a tunnel and I will turn it back off. Not as bad as last week was though. I have no idea what is happening with my audio at the moment. And I would put in a bunch of time to fix it, but I don't know how many times I'm going to be able to stream before I have to move. You good, babe? Okay. Thanks for putting up with me, guys. <laughs> Let's wait it out, then. Yeah, whatever is going on, I guess we should just wait it out, since we're both safe where we are. Negative. Over. What? Why not? Purely defensive posture, tactically suicidal. Monsters likely just distraction. Could have obscured additional agents on approach, over. Do you mean, like, more monsters, or...? Can't discuss on unsecured channel, can't be certain who's listening. But evidence points to... Antares class conspiracy, cascade, over. Okay. Never heard of this before in my life. Cascade? Hmm. Wait, what happened last week? Oh, my audio was terrible last week. Little bit of crackle then. Okay. I got this. I can fix this. Okay, I turned down my boost. So I'll probably be a bit quieter now, but I shouldn't be blowing things out. Anyway, we're going with what over. Yes, how is Athena? I have been like... She's been in my thoughts, I guess, because that allergies thing sounds absolutely terrible. What? Over. Relieved you're taking this seriously. 
we have one point. We have one favor. Are you totally prepared to begin forward operations? No going back now, Joey. Over. I was making fun of you, dweeb. I'm not going anywhere. Trust crucial on the battlefield, Joey. Hoping presence of monsters has tipped equation away from typical skepticism. Over. Uh, typical skepticism? I trust you or trust is for chumps? Clearly trust is for chumps. Trust is for chumps. Tell me what's going on, Jude. Your current position not secure. Large yard facing windows. Location compromised to enemy. Situation rapidly deteriorating. Must abscond to attic, Joey. Over. Still sneaking the food she's allergic to and thus a screaming mess of bloody scratching. Ah, Athena, no. Don't do it. The attic? Yes, the attic. Strong door. Well stocked with tactical materiel. Take left out of bedroom, go upstairs. Highest room in house. Over. I know what the attic is, Jude. It was just a weird suggestion. What else is new? More inscrutable rambling from my treehouse lunatic brother. It's just googling for like helpful advice on allergic kids sneaking food, but there's really very little out there. Yeah, I mean, it is a big problem, but not a common one, I guess. Don't understand. You sounded confused. Trying to help, over. Aww. I already like Jude. Look, just shut up, okay? I'll sneak up there, lock the door, and you can call the cops or call our babysitter. Uh, definitely babysitter. Call our babysitter. Too late to reach her at lab, working day, long duck. Working day long done over. Okay, it took me a moment to pass that sentence. Ah, oh, Abscond, a sign that you're reading Homestuck? It's so familiar and comforting. Oh no, you're right. Agreed on both counts. Babysitter capable strifer could help tip scales. Might also help convince you to get to safety. Jude, I'm going to go to the stupid attic, okay? I'm sorry for being mean. Do you have your weapon over? Why, what weapon, or sure don't. Let's go with what weapon. Tell me what I can strife with. What weapon? You mean my old weapon? What for? Serpents swarming everywhere, over. You want me to fight them? With a flashlight? Oh, the flashlight! I remember that from the promo material! Don't blame you for being nervous with high concentration of serpent presence. Must be brave. Your brother believes in you and knows you can beat the serpents, over. Stop saying serpents. Do you recall where weapon is, over? Apparently I do. Yeah, it's in the closet. Understood. All set then, over. No, I mean the whole closet. Crap, over. Yeah, well, I guess I'll have to take your word about all this. You are sure about all this, right? Absolutely, extremely certain, over. Over and out, squirt. Okay. Uh, just unlocked the achievement over, but we just started. Interesting. Okay, well, I guess I'm going out into the hall. Won't this be fun? Oh, I wonder if I have a hint now, actually. It's still unavailable. One day my hint friend will come back to me. Oh, I just realized there's a light switch. Can I turn on the lights? I've been I've been standing in the dark this whole time. Look how nice this room is when it's well lit. I am a maroon. Okay, well, I guess we're braving the hall. It wasn't locked is the achievement I just unlocked. Oh my gosh. This place. Oh, walkie-talkie communications. Bed is made, clearly a prospect dreamer. That's the litmus test. Uh, I want to look at everything, but also, I guess... Okay, walkie-talkie first. 
No, it wants me to hurry over to the hall closet. Also, I just realized there's the signless... Muppet? Better hurry over to the hall closet and retrieve your weapon before that crafty old serpent, you mean snake, can get the drop on you. Okay, but I'm gonna look at everything. I am in no hurry here. 